Alright guys, so pretty much today I'm just going to show you guys how to debad your car. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to do this, but honestly a lot of them are just a bunch of complicated equipment and a bunch of complicated solutions. Um, I'm kind of going to, I'm, I'm going to show you honestly the cheapest and the easiest way to do this um, without scratching your paint um, and without screwing anything up. Um, so I mean I'm going to use, you know, your tools that pretty much everybody has in their home um, and if you don't, cost you a few cents to go out and buy. First thing you're going to need is um, just some dental floss. Um, now there are some substitutes you can use for this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dental floss, and it is going to go under the actual emblem, so I can actually like I, I'll show you guys later. But only thing you need is you need something that will go under the emblem and that will not scratch the paint. So don't use anything plastic. Use something soft. Um, honestly, dental floss is normally the best solution. Sometimes it's not that strong, and uh, it will melt because it gets really hot. Um, but so yeah, you're gonna need like dental floss, which is probably the the best thing you can use. Next thing you're gonna need is either a heat gun, and if you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. A hair dryer works perfectly fine. It is the same concept. Um, you can use a hair dryer, um, but uh, it, I mean, it doesn't do anything differently, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I have this little Conair. I honestly don't even know where I got this. Um, it was just kind of in my house. So, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of excited about this. I use this for my violin and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, you're gonna. So so far, you're gonna need dental floss and some form of a heat device that shoots heat. And after that, you're gonna want a uh, some kind of cleaning solution to get the extras off underneath, because uh, it is a, it's like a substance that sticks on the paint. Um, normally, you're gonna want to use lacquer thinner, uh, paint thinner, something along those lines. You can actually use carburetor cleaner as well, uh, but that's a lot more expensive. Um, so, but yeah. So I'll go ahead and get to this. All right. So first thing you're gonna do is use your chainsaw, and you're just gonna start hacking away at it. All right. So obviously that was a joke, but uh, first thing you actually need to do is you need to tear you off a couple pieces of floss, um, dental floss needs to be a pretty decent length so you can wrap your fingers around it um, so you just do about that length that's probably eight inches uh, yeah I guess eight inches what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wrap your fingers around it and make sure that you have a pretty decent amount of floss um, so you can do that and then after you get a pretty decent size of floss you're gonna start heating up the actual emblem. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, and I'll speed it up for you just to kind of show you. You just go over it lightly. Don't keep it on one spot too much. You will damage the paint. Um, so you want to keep moving. So here we go. I'm gonna put it on a low setting, um, just so I can get it hot enough to where we can get this started. Alright, so what I was doing there is I'm just, I'm going along and heating these up, but at the same time, I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of moving the emblems to see how loose they're getting from the grid underneath them. So, um, just keep on doing that and just keep on heating them up. Might take a little while, but uh, you, you want to be, um, honestly, is it, it's not, it's not a fast process. You got to be patient with it, so. Alright, so now that I got it heated up, um, the, um, the glue substance on the bottom of it should be pretty um, melted, I guess. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get the dental floss and you're just going to start honestly like you're flossing your teeth. You're just going to go, it's like a, it's like a saw. Um, and don't worry, you will probably go through a few strands of dental floss whenever you do this. But uh, it's fairly simple. So like the S is pretty much finished on this one. Um, and I'll kind of show you, it does leave a bunch of crap underneath it. Um, you really want to hold it as vertical as you can. Yeah, see, I'm already almost done with this piece of dental floss. And you will have to go through and reheat it a couple times. You're not just going to do it one time and then finish the entire thing. So, here you go. Um, that kind of gives you an example of, of what's under it. Um, do not, I repeat, do not use a razor blade for this um, because that is just dumb. Um, don't use a razor blade to get that stuff off. It does come off with your finger. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead 
and do this entire process now. Um, so there we go, as you see right there, I already broke off. Um, not a big deal. This is kind of old floss anyways. I mean, I literally just found it in the back of my, like, room. So. But yeah, so, like, like I just did, make it pretty tight. Ah, come on. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and reheat this. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll start recording again whenever this is getting pretty far into it. So, there you go. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like whenever um, all the lettering is off. Um, you're going to have all this little residue underneath it. And what you're going to want to do is, uh, like I was saying earlier, do not get a razor blade to take it off. Um, either use your finger or something like that, or you can go back to the heat gun. And uh, but normally I just use my fingernail. I mean, it's not going to scratch anything. Or I sorry, I use my thumb because I don't really have fingernails. But uh, you pretty much just, I mean, it's pretty easy to tear off. Um, but you can, like I was saying, you can go back and you can reuse the heat gun and stuff like that um, to take it off. But um, that just makes the process even longer. But it will um, make it a little bit easier to take the residue off. So it's probably what I'm going to go ahead and do. So uh, once everything is off, go ahead and just like wipe it down. Kind of like this. Now I do have a microfiber that sometimes does the job. Most of the time it does not on stuff like this. I mean, you can sit here and wipe it like this, and it's going to take some of it off. Um, but, uh, you know, I, mean, I can just sit here and you can probably do it this way. It's probably just going to be freaking tiring, though. Yeah, I mean, that's really not going to do a whole bunch. So, yeah, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm just going to clean it off real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of reheat all this stuff up. These letters were small enough to where I could seriously just peel them off. Um, I wouldn't do that on all emblems. Like this U right here, I seriously, like, I just got it, and I just twisted it, and it just came off. Um, it just needed heat. Um, so, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just heat this stuff back up, and I'm just going to kind of peel it off, so... All right, so now that it's kind of hot again, I'm going to go ahead and get my thumb in here and just start loosening some stuff up. And um, anything you can't get off with a towel, um, that's what you're going to use the lacquer thinner for. Um, then after the lacquer thinner, I always do like a round of, I always do a quick thing of like wax. Um, but I would get any of the thicker substance, like the thicker part you didn't get off, I'd take that off first. Um, and if it's just like a smaller part that there's no way you can actually get off um, via microfiber towel or something, um, that's the stuff you're going to have to get off with uh, the lacquer thinner. And it's not going to do anything to like a, a finished car paint um, because it is like it has a finish on it, it has the gloss, the coating on it, and it's not going to do anything to it. Um, so you're not going to have to worry. Um, now I wouldn't do an excess because I mean obviously it's paint thinner. It does, it does. Um, it, it's meant to take paint off if you use too much. So just put a little bit on your towel. Um, but like I was saying, you're not going to have to worry about anything crazy. And also it's going to take off the paint thinner. It's going to take off all these little lines and marks and stuff like that that you you think you're never going to get off. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. So now that I got all the crap off of it, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the uh, the, light, the paint thinner again. And I'm just going to go over it kind of with two fingers and just kind of smooth it out a little bit, make sure all the, um, you know, all the smaller stuff is off. Uh, it will be able to get all this junk off, and I'm going to show you how exactly you, you clean up the car after this process is over. I'm going to do some circles. Make some circles, kind of get some of this crap off of here. Go ahead and just wet this down with some water. Go ahead and kind of do that. Just scrub. Now this car is red, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult um, to get all the splotches out of here. I see all this now. That's just kind of leftover residue. Now it's pretty much cleared up. Um, now that I got, kind of got all this off. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over with a wear, of, a wear of lax. I'm going to use a wear of lax. A layer of wax, kind of let it dry, and then I'm going to take it off, and then it'll be back to shiny. B. 
Okay. Alright, so after you do that, go ahead and get a new microfiber. A uh, new whatever. Normally, I use a microfiber to take off my wax. It does the best job. Um, yeah, this stuff's pretty dry. So here we go. Here's the moment of truth. And after this, it'll make it really clear if you missed something or pretty much, you know, anything. But uh, that wax is going to clean up any little scratches you did. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to take you out of your cage. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? You can see, no scratches. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it looks kind of clean. Now I just got to do this. I'm leaving the STI, by the way. There's no way I'm taking that off. Um, it looks too awesome. But uh, but yeah, that is pretty much how you do it. The ghetto way. Not really ghetto, but um, the, uh, the easy way. Um, that's, you know, it's um, a way to do it without face palming yourself and um, it's it's just simple it's uh, got you know you got household tools and stuff like that so but uh, it's very easy if you guys have any questions if I kind of skipped anything that you all really curious about just let me know and I'll definitely help you guys out with that but yeah I appreciate you guys for watching and give me some feedback um, just uh, just let me know guys all right thanks for watching